G'day, the travelling guy here in the Riverina region of New South Wales. It holds a special spot in my heart because my dad's from Wagga Wagga, so, you know, memories, childhood memories are flowing through my body right now. I've got to say, there's a time of year when this place just glistens with the blooming canola, as you can see around me. But the canola trail itself is a year-round experience, taking in Coolerman, Juni and Tamora. You get some great foodie experiences, some awesome history, but you know the best thing about this area? It's the good old country hospitality, and I'm here to get a taste of it. And when you're on the Canola Trail and you come into Coolerman, which is a beautiful little town, you have to drop in and see Kieran and the team here at Coolerman Cheese. Mate, how does somebody get into a cheese? Because you guys haven't been operating that long, right? No, uh, last month we just celebrated our uh, second birthday. Yeah. So, yeah, two years in. Going strong. The cheeses you got here, like there's a big array. Yeah, we've got look, 14 different varieties of cheeses, uh, soft whites through to mouldy blues and cloth bound cheddars. Yep. We've also got our native Australian flavoured range. So that's one of Barry's specialties, right? Yeah, that's like Barry's secret recipes. Right. Mate, and people can come here, obviously, they come through, they, they get, you've got the cafe, but you've got the tastings, you've got the tours, yep. you've also got workshops with Barry. Come and learn from someone who's had 35 years' experience and they've just held you know, up to eight to 12 people yeah. that we put in those courses and they're one and two day courses. Well, thanks Kieran, I can't wait to get my lips around some of this stuff and I'll pop in and see what Barry's up to as well. A little bit of lemon myrtle from the indigenous range. Kieran said I have to try this with it, which believe it or not is a sugar coated olive. Who would think? Whoa! That's a little party in your mouth. Baz, tell me about the Indigenous side, mate. How did that come about? Oh, look, when I was a young fellow, I worked with Aboriginal kids in North Queensland um, in schools, and they used to take me out camping on weekends. It was always a lot of fun, and we lived on bush tucker all the time. And that grew my passion about bush tucker. And look, it's something that not many Australians know much about, and this is one of the ways we've got to introduce them to, to Australian native foods, by putting it in cheese. Well, Barry, I just got three very important questions before I leave you alone, mate. Now, being the main guy here, that make you the head cheese? They tell me you're a pretty good fella. Can you give me a cheesy grin? The people asking you questions like that cheese you off? And what about... Oh, well. I absolutely love it when I find a gem of accommodation choice and I've found that right here in Coolamont. It's called the Kinder Apartments. Now I love it because it's bright, it's eclectic, it's funky. You can have one bedroom unit if you want, a little one bedroom apartment, or you can take over this big one here and have the family, or you can take the whole lot and sleep up to 10 people. It's pet friendly, love that. I like the fact that it's self-contained, so if you want to cook, you can. You can even wash your clothes here if you want to do that. There won't be any of that with me. Now, you're probably sitting here saying, why is Scott in his pajamas? Well, here's the thing. This place used to be a Masonic hall and this room used to be a mini picture theater and the screen's still on the wall. So after being on the canola trail all day, I'm chilling. I've got my choc top, I've got my popcorn and I'm about to watch a fantastic movie on the big screen. <laughs> <laughs> that guy cracks me up. He's pretty handsome though. Boomerangs, meteors, spitfires, tiger moss, wirraways. Aren't they fantastic names? That's just some of them. Here, these planes that you'll see at the Tamora Aviation Museum because the Canola Trail's not just about food. It's about experiences and it's about history and the Riverina is full of it. Every couple of years, they have a fantastic event called Warbirds Down Under. You can come here and check out all these beauties in the air and see them doing their thing. Whether you are an aviation buff or not, it's certainly worth a visit here. Take your time, stroll around the main hangar, take in the history, take in the brilliance and the beauty of some of these absolute legends of the air. So the Licorice and Chocolate Factory in Juni, it's an institution, that means this guy next to me is as well. Neil, good to see you mate. There's a lot going on here though, it's not just Licorice and Chocolate, you've got the cafe, you've got the shops, like, tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, so we've, we've got the restaurant, we've got a coffee shop, 
We make the licorice, we make the chocolate, and then we you know, pack it up and distribute, plus sell on site. Upstairs as a gift shop. Tell us about you do the tours as well, because then kids can come here and get involved. It's a big family affair, really. We have tours every hour, and uh, people can go through, and then there's interactive, where you can make your own freckles or Rocky Road, okay. and things like that. Kids yeah. must love that. They kind of do. And they also tell me that licorice is actually good for you. Yeah, yeah. It's, what, meant to be, tell me. it's meant to be the elixir of life, meant to prolong your life. But the biggest thing it does is build your immune system. Okay. Yeah, so that's so. a scientific fact. Yeah, yeah. What have I been doing all these years? Oh, yeah. I haven't yeah. eaten enough licorice. That's it. Well, there you go. Get on the Canola Trail. Get yourself a taste of the licorice and chocolate factory. And of course, a taste of the Riverina. For all the information you need to enjoy the ultimate New South Wales adventure, head to visitnsw.com.